From the rising sun to the setting, say my will praise your name. From the rising sun to the setting, say my will praise your name. Amen. Good evening, my special love and healing ministry tribe. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm just coming back. So yes, I haven't been idle all evening. Indeed, if I hadn't put my hand on the plow, I would just get on my bed and sleep. It's been a full day. Oh, Father, thank you so much in the mighty name of Jesus. Our evening devotion is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 6. Do not be idle in the evening. Yes, I wasn't idle this evening. Opportunities are plentiful in the evening of the day. Uh -huh. People return from their labor and the zealous soul winner finds time to tell people about the love of Jesus. That's what I'm doing. Do I have no evening work for Jesus? If not, let me no longer withhold my hand from a duty that requires abundant labor. Sinners are perishing for lack of knowledge. He who delays may find his clothing crimson with the blood of souls. Eh, God forbid. Jesus gave both his hands to the nails. How can I keep back one of mine from his blessed work? He toyed and prayed for me night and day. How can I give a single hour to the pampering of my flesh with luxurious ease? Get up, idle heart. Stretch out your hand to walk or uplift it to pray. Heaven and hell are in earnest. Let me be so too. Let me this evening sow good seed for the Lord my God. The evening of life also has its responsibilities. Life is so short that a morning of one's vigor and an evening of decay make the entirety of it. Life is so brief that no one can afford to lose a day. It has been well said, that if a great king will bring us a large pile of gold and tell us to take as much as we could count in a day, we will make a long day of it and we will not be tired. <laughs> we will begin early in the morning and we will continue late in the evening. But to win souls is far nobler work. Mm, that's true. How is it that we so quickly withdraw from it? I cannot answer that question. Some people are spared to a long evening of green old age. If this is your case, use such talents as you still retain and serve your blessed and faithful Lord to the last hour. By his grace, I will die working for him and I will only lay down my duty when I lay down my body. And Charles Spurgeon actually did that. Even when he went on retirement, to the south of France due to health issues. He kept writing to the people, kept talking to people about Jesus. Oh God, what a life. Those who are more advanced in age can instruct the young, inspire the weak, and encourage the disheartened. If the evening has less vigorous heat, it should have more calm wisdom. So by evening here, we don't just mean evening of the day, but evening of your life. Like in old, in far advanced age, not just 44, but more 60, 80, stuff like that. Therefore, in the evening, I will not withhold my hand. Yes, because what a, an old man sees sitting down, a young person cannot see if they climb on a tree. That simply means that with age should come wisdom. So evening of my life also means that as I grow older. Hey, Papa God, help me, oh. help us all. Oh. May we make so much use of our lives and our days that even if the numbers increase, the vitality is still the same in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Have a good evening, everybody. God bless us all.